a dozen belts of the finest Egyptian line. here is ready for delivery. Needless to say, we must employ the same discretion as usual. No, no, no. Peter, search them. Very well done, Sergeant. No weapons. Oh, we are completely at your mercy, as you can see. Sergeant Duval, look. From the lost Tunisian caravan, remember? There is the wealth of many lost caravans in this tent. Lost caravans with no survivors. I know nothing of that. I'm a businessman, I buy and sell. You make it profitable for other men to kill and steal. That's your business. Here they are. Legion guns. Load those guns on the horses. Come on, let us go. on the night shift. How about them quiet? Oh, hi, a soldier. Just join up? Run foot in. Here, let me give you a hand with some of this stuff. I can handle it. Oh, it's no trouble at all. After all, we're going to be bunking side by side. Forget it. Now, how many times do I have to ask? No, Mark! Where did you come from, you rockhead? Yeah, no, Mark. I can't believe it. It's been a long time since the commando days in England. And eh, Novak? Go soak your head, you big sweep. <laughs> Nothing like old friends insulting one another. <laughs> now it's the way we used to talk. Me, I'm not the smartest guy in the world. Novak here. We used to call him the Warsaw Wonder Boy. I don't take that anymore. What's the matter, Jan? The big war's over, stupid, haven't you heard? What are you doing here, anyway? You've got a home to go to. Why don't you go there? I don't understand. Because you're a dummy, that's why. You never had to fight in the first place. Your country wasn't mixed up in it. What are you fighting? A little excitement? To be a hero? I think you are serious. Me, I've got a right to be serious. I'm a Pole, all right. With no place to go back to. I've got to be hero in some hole like it. Now, wait a minute, mister. Some of us here happen to think the Legion's a pretty... Nobody good... asked you, clown. Hey. Listen, Novak. Hold it, guys. Mr. Novak and I are not finished talking. business, Sergeant. Anything that happened in Barak is my business. You're the new man? You come with me. You get cleaned up and dressed. I will be back for you in ten minutes. Why did you ask to be transferred to this battalion? I didn't, sir. It was my former commanding officer's idea. And did you agree? I do as I'm told, sir. Eddie's Novak. 
You have a peculiar record for a man who's been in the Legion three months. Your former officers rate you as a top field soldier. They also consider you a bad legionnaire. I tried to do the job I am paid for, sir. And nothing else? Is there anything else, sir? Yes. But I'm afraid you wouldn't understand if I explained it to you. That's all. Corporal Bertrand. That's all, Sergeant. Thanks very much. Sit down, Bertrand. Thank you, Captain. Looks like you and Novak came out about even. Yes, sir. Duval tells me it's personal business. Now, I'm not going to pry into your affairs. But Novak is a new man here, and he's off to a bad start. It would help if we knew what kind of a man he is. Jan Novak is the bravest man I've ever known. It's a pretty big statement. I knew this. I first met him in England during the war when we were on a commando team composed of non-British volunteers. He's, uh, he's Polish, isn't he? Yes, sir. And the Poles were among the first to loot their country. Novak was in the Czech underground, then the Danish and the French undergrounds before he came to England, always fighting in another land. When the war ended, most went home. I never knew what happened to Novak. Well, the way things stand, he's still in a foreign uniform. They can't blame that on the Legion, sir. Bertram, a better man can blame anything he chooses. Very well. Oh, by the way, the Bell's report commanded you on last night's patrol duty. I think now that we have the brains of the hijacking crowd. I think so too, sir. But that Mr. Bucker is a smart fellow. Well, it seems the civil authorities have a prior claim, so we won't worry about it. I do want you to escort him to the police in Taradan, however. Very good, sir. You better take Corporal Dugan with you. Good luck. Ah, Captain, I cannot say I'm sorry to leave your hospitality. You will be Mr. Packer when they throw you in jail in Carradon. But I have a long trip across the desert before that. There is still the possibility of some surprise adventure. I understand you are out of cigarettes. All right, Corporal, take them away. Prisoner detail, forward, march. your nose in my business, buddy. All right, Sergeant. Break it up. For the last time, behave yourself or take a walk. That's enough. Mina, finish your drink. You got anything to say to me? You say it when I'm on duty. You may be off duty, but that doesn't mean you can brawl over a girl. She works here, doesn't she? And I'm paying for my entertainment. She works here, sure. But she picks her own friends. She hasn't got an enemy in the world. Keep on asking for it, Private Novak. And you're going to get it from Sergeant Duval. Captain Gallant, sir. Report just received that the prisoner detail was ambushed in the desert. What? Paca and the other two prisoners escaped. Any casualties? Corporal Dugan, sir, dead. There was no sign of Corporal Bertrand. Right. Come on, Sergeant. Dugan's dead. Yeah. It looks like this packer had some men waiting in the desert. I wonder what happened to Pete. There's one Swede who finally got smart. What's that? What's what? 
Dugan's dead, the Swede isn't. Why kill one legionnaire and save the other, unless the other was willing to make a deal? Now you're gonna get it. Oh! Come on! What's the use? Any more news, Captain? No. I sent out a radio bulletin describing Pack and his men. Laval is checking on the caravans that may have passed close to where the escape took place. It's a big desert, Captain. If we only had some idea where to start looking. We'll find him. That back alley whispering has started already. They're saying a legionnaire took a bribe. That kind of talk can do us a lot of harm. Andre. Yes, Sergeant. Captain Gallant, Corporal Dugan's body has been returned to the fort. The area of the ambush was completely investigated. Any sign of Corporal Bertrand? Yes, sir. What'd you find, Sergeant? Horses' tracks leaving the area show that a party of six rode out toward the southwest. The tracks of a legion horse was clear among them. Bertrand's riding with them. We haven't got the whole story yet. What about the incoming caravans? A group of merchants entered the souk at dawn. They came from the southwest route. Good. They may have seen someone. I think I'll go to the souk and have a talk with one of those merchants. Deval, you and Fuzzy meet me at the fort gate. That's all. Yes, sir. Yes. Look, the delicacy of the weave. Look there. Uh, I doubt I could afford such a work of art. A necessity for me to meet your term. I sell it for 3,000 francs. <laughs> All right, you convince me. I'll take it. <laughs> Would you mind tying it up for me, please? Oh, uh, certainly, mon capitaine. Incidentally, some people I know left town early this morning. Did you happen to pass anyone on the desert? As destiny would have it, so I did. Six men on horses riding west. West, you say? Mm hmm. And uh, and where were you at the time? Uh, one hour slow ride from the uh, Galdawesis, where I spent the night. You know the place? Oh yes, very well. I also remember that one of the riders wore that very same uniform that you have on. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> well, at least we know where they were at dawn and that they were headed west. Sergeant, I want a patrol ready for desert duty 15 minutes after we get back to the post. Yes, sir. And, and make Novak one of those men. Do you think he's right for this kind of mission, sir? He's either a legionnaire or he isn't. We'd better find out one way or the other. Come on. Captain Gallon, look at this. Legion water bag, it's been slashed open. I tripped over it while I was walking guard duty. There's about six more bags, all cut open, laying in the same place. Show it to me. Now, this one has corporal stripes cut into it. That must have been Corporal Dugan's bag, sir. Listen. Bertram, water, quick. They caught me cutting the water banks. Left me here to die. Take it easy. They killed Dogen. They were using me to get across the desert. I got away, but I knew they couldn't travel without water. I sneaked back to cut the bags. They caught me. They... Why did he do it, the dumb Swede? That's all, Novak. 
He was away. Why did he turn back and try to stop them? Why should he care? Miller! I'm sorry, sir. Sergeant, we'll break camp immediately. Thanks to Bertram, the men we are after haven't got any water. They'll have to head for the first oasis. Let's make sure we meet them there. Two of you take him back to the post. The rest of the patrol will ride to the next oasis. Tied down and under guard, sir. Good. Well, I don't know whether they're in there or not. There's only one way to find out. Duval, get the men ready to move out and tell them to keep low. circle to get behind the oasis. When you start firing, we'll move in from here. Yes, sir. Well, Captain, nobody never said we couldn't. Got him hitched. Come on. any more use for you than the rest of us. But that's a pretty special uniform you're wearing, soldier. It's all over. Captain Gallant? Novak? There's no use to say I'm sorry for a lot of things, sir. Forget it. Thank you, sir. There's one more thing. What's that? Private Bertrand's personal effects, sir. I used to know the Swede pretty well. Could I send a letter to the family when you send his things back? I think that'd be a good idea, Novak. Thank you, sir. Prisoners 
platoon ready to travel, sir. All right, Sergeant. Let's go home. 